Welcome back to the channel. Something very different for you today. Uh, I was actually invited by a company called Grime TV up to Manchester to take part in a stunt driving event called Go Faster. For those of you that haven't heard of Grime TV, they're a music platform that bring you the latest news on the grime scene. They've got a website, grimetv.com. They've also got an Instagram, at Grime TV, which I'll leave links to in the description. So the main reason Grime TV got in contact was they wanted me to do an interview with an artist called Fiasco. Uh, he's from up north, specifically Manchester. Over 4 million views online. Uh, so yeah, Grind TV, they give me a number of questions to ask. Uh, I was a little rusty, first time ever trying something like this, so give me a break. I did actually do the stunt driving as well with Fiasco. I did pretty good, to tell the truth, uh, but didn't manage to capture any footage as it was all last second and pretty rushed. Um, so, you know, this video is more focused on the interview itself. And uh, if you expect to see some kind of card content, you probably want to move on now. Uh, if you are going to move on, I'd highly appreciate it if you could just quickly hit the thumbs up. And if you are going to continue to watch, I'll put you in the video right now. Significant day that I'll always remember Cause my son was born And if you had a league for his looks I got no doubt that he'd be straight in the prem What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Life Fast uh, You should have just seen the intro I made at home Doing a little collab with Fiasco He's a grime artist uh, So we've had a fun day out at uh, Faster Is it Go Faster? Go Faster, uh, it's yeah It's quite cool, isn't it? Cool beautiful, day. beautiful yeah. day. They didn't expect nothing like this, but yeah, it's an hanging, amazing experience. Hanging the Focus RSs, couple Mustangs. So yeah, a random one for the channel. Uh, don't normally do this, so uh, we're gonna ask Fiasco a few questions. Uh, like I mentioned, he's a grime artist from Manchester. He's got a strong following, and um, yeah, like I say, something different. Uh, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so Fiasco man, I've been sent by Grime TV to ask you some questions. First question I've got for you is, tell us about your musical beginnings. My musical beginnings? Um, so basically, I started a bit late with the music. Um, most of the people around me were like 16, 17, 18 doing music. And it just weren't for me. I, was more, I wanted to be a footballer at that time. Okay. Um, but my dad was into music. He used to listen to like reggae and raga sound and he, he had his own little crew with him. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was installed in my head that, that I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. And um, the first MC I heard was Dizzy Rascal. Right. Um, and obviously it was UK Grime, which was English music. And I just fell in love with it straight away. And I didn't really know how to write bars at the time, but yeah. I tried to create a sound then. Yeah. Before you know it, it ended up being a fiasco. I know there's a heaven above, but I ain't trying to be religious. My Muslim brethren, they don't celebrate Christmas. I know Rastafari's that have more than one mistress. And on top of that, my dad's a Jehovah's Witness. Do you want to tell us about your last EP? Um, yeah, so basically, um, I took a, a gap in music, a um, bit of life experiences just taking over, really. And um, yeah, basically, I just come back. And I was writing a project called True Stories, yeah. just about the stuff that happened in my life. Mm. But in that period when I was writing the story, a, a, a big tragedy happened in my family where uh, my mum, my mum was killed, unfortunately. Um, okay. And yeah, it, it, it kind of it threw me off the trajectory with my life, but it kind of helped me to express my music a bit more. My sister hears loud screaming. She jumps out of the bath. Out of the bedroom window, naked onto the grass My mum's on fire, she makes it to the garden path The dog is upstairs barking, he can't get out cause he's trapped Two stories, one was out in 2016 um, That was just an EP um, Two stories, two It's an album, it's an 18 track album And um, that should be out on July the 16th So Grime originated in London um, what's it like um, in Manchester? What's the scene like? In terms of talent-wise, I think the talent 
fans there, definitely. I think London ahead because they're at a unit here where the in industry based, everything's just driven from London as it is. The, the labels, the PR companies, everything is in London. Whereas in Manchester, you just have individuals. A bit more difficult to get to a Stormzy level. Yeah, mm. so, um, yeah, but like you say, you just gotta um, try your best at what, what you've got, really. I come from the South, money bits. Same size of Chimpo and Triggs. A money legend slayer and shift. Do you wanna tell us about the main challenges you face of uh, being an MC outside of, like, you know, music? Um, see, with, like I say, if you go and check my music out, um, I tell a lot of stories within my music, and if you check into the history of grime music, it's more kind of the opposite, like, in grime music, it's more everybody's talking about making money and yeah. uh, living a, like, I live in a different life, basically, where I'm just talking um, worldly things, like, um, like people having illnesses and stuff yeah. like which, mm. which if you go on YouTube and check me out you'll find something about uh, Paranoid Schizophrenic on there which, which yeah, I heard the track, yeah. resonated with the yeah. fans Anyone quite. know about Paranoid Schizophrenic? Mom, Dad, Brother, Uncle, they already get it Must be genetics Poor little me, kept seeing the doctors and medics Try different methods on how to address it Now my mum got it first and she had it the worst But don't take that from me though These are the words from the nurse She was So do you think it's better to be signed or independent? Um, it, it depends, it depends where you want to be in life um, If you want more money And you want to do it the hard way It's always best to be independent yeah. If you want the cheat code to get some success mm. It's better to be signed So it just depends where you're at in your life What age you're at just where you want to go, really. What's your best moment so far in music? My best moment, um, I performed at the O2 in uh, London. Okay. Um, I think there was 16,000 people there. Uh, I went on oh. the undercard at J. Cole and I thought Crazy. I was going to come out to uh, like a bad reception because they'd want all my music, but yeah, yeah. They, they just read the energy and right. I got a standing ovation at the end of it. Wicked, man. Cross the world's gone mad. Same time Grimes come back It's big in Blackpool, big down under and even Japan's on that So for anybody that's new, that's seen you for the first time What track would you point them to on YouTube? Um, if you want to get a picture of how deep I actually go into things I'd say um, probably the Julia Archer track And it bases a story within a story You go from there and all the others follow on It's Thursday the 3rd When I came off the plane Mum died that night, we never spoken again If you can hear me now, I just wanted to say I love you mum, hope to see you again someday Bugsy McClone, can you tell us the, <laughs> <laughs> the story behind that? Yeah, um, so if you know about uh, Grime, especially from Manchester um, There's an artist called Bugsy Malone He's a very big artist uh, yeah, very big. from up north, I don't know about South but um, yeah, so he done um, a thing called Fire in the Booth with Charlie Sloth, which made him go from being a mediocre MC to superstar. And um, the story that he was telling on the on his uh, track, I just it just resonated with me in my heart, like literally, fully on, full on. So I just told my version on the same B and just called it a clone because we're kind of similar in what we're doing. It. It's not, right. No, there's no send or anything with that man. Mm. Books is my guy, big up books here. Yeah. That bond and love, I know it comes in his nature. I know, cause I see it now with Jasmine and Ava. So the storyteller freestyle has had crazy views, right? That's correct, yeah. Um, do you want to tell us um, some, some of your mindset behind the lyrics to that? Um, Obviously I know you mentioned about your mom and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah so uh, it's weird and um, it's an unusual, it's not an unusual illness as well. So. Um, when I was growing up, um, my mum, she got ill with um, a paranoid schizophrenic illness, which was, at the time, it was unheard of. Okay. And I didn't know my dad, and then uh, I went to live with my dad, and then he got it as well. So then, it was kind of hereditary, not hereditary, but I kind of understood the pattern of how it worked by then. Okay. Further down the line, my brother got it, and my sister.
Santa's got it, and do you know what I mean? My uncle got it, which is to my, for my whole family to have it really. It's just like. It's, it's, so, what, what actually is it for people that don't? It's, a, it's just an illness where people get paranoid thoughts in the head. It's not just a normal way of thinking. Okay. And it allows you to do out of character stuff really. Right. So, and that's what that tune. Comes yeah, so that, I was just basically explaining what it's about and stuff, and then before you know it, I had a million and one messages from people around the world, Australia, America, France, Iceland, uh, that suffered with the same illness. She rejected the help, which affected her health. She lost weight and had to wear size six jeans with a belt. Friends came up to me, say they just saw my mum on public transport, arguing with herself. Okay, so seeing as though we're at a car event, um, what's your daily driver? What do you drive on a daily basis? Um, I've got a Mercedes CLS. CLS, yeah? Yeah. Uh, petrol, diesel? Uh, it's diesel 2.2. How long are you on that? Uh, I got it last September. Uh, so what do you think of the Focus RS that you went out in today? Uh, uh, Four wheel drive hatchback? I, I've not I've not driven Focus for it a long, long time. Like, you know, like a small hatchback. Yeah. But yeah. because you put it into rear wheel drive. Mm. Crazy, <laughs> right? Hatchback, rear wheel drive. <laughs> I yeah. think I'm going to downgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. And obviously we did some drifting and stuff. They kick out from the back nicely. Pretty grippy though, right? For, yeah, yeah. How do you think cars and urban culture mix? Do you think they go in hand? Like, I think uh, urban culture goes with it. Anything that's fast life, whether it be sport, cars, mm. music, it goes in hand in hand all the time, do you know what I mean? It just helps. There's a strong mix up, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's, it's a lot, yeah. yeah, definitely. Right, so guys, gonna end the video there. Uh, fiasco, man. Uh, thanks for doing like, Appreciate that interview very much. with me. And make sure you get the True Stories 2 album. Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, all of that. Yeah, was that 16th? 16th of July. 16th of July.